Call me Papa. <laughs> and at least it wasn't me. And, and I, I flee the tsunami. Call me Papa. So uh, whatever the lyrics are. And this is Super Smash Bros. Actually, it's <laughs> And I did not know Link was an opera singer. But hey guys, Artie and Link are back for Fire Emblem. Today, 28, a shorter chapter. Yes, a much shorter chapter. You can only take five guys, four guys, right? I don't remember. You can it's only take five number. guys, burger and fries. I was going to make that joke. But all right. Yeah, Link beat me to it. So Elwood now has a fancy new horse, and with the help of his friends, his true strength will be sorely tested. Apparently. Sorely tested? It's, sorely tested. Tested until he is sore. Also, uh, Nurgle has kidnapped Ninian. Oh, it is. This is kind of. <laughs> you just can't stop with the Emperor references. Do you intend to resist me? Okay, Nurgle's goatee, cool or not cool? Yeah, yeah I think it's pretty good. He's got like a yeah. Yon Jafar thing going on. I, I, I was about to say that, yeah. Okay, also, is he. Okay, does he have two eyes? Or is yeah, he, he like, does. He's not like the one guy from Lord of the Rings, where it's like he has like the one eye. <laughs> Wait, what? Are you talking Sauron? No, no. Like eye? there's, there's. I think it's the Battle of Helm's Deep. Like there's the one guy who has literally just like has like no eye. Who's like, ah! <laughs> like it's been a while since I've seen it, but okay. I mean, it's been a while since I've seen it too. But... <laughs> I trust you. I was just wondering because it seems like strategically placed over his eye, so he's either like, "Oh yeah, he's I hiding something." I have to wear this patch, so uh, you know, it's because one eye is weaker than the other, <laughs> and glasses are for wimps. He, this guy's basically—I just realized Nurgle was basically like the Emperor meets Jafar meets Professor Quirrell from uh, Harry yeah. Potter, and he's another white dude who wears a turban. Yeah. Oh, the, the sealed, sealed lava. Is that sealed if we're in it? I know. Never well, it's not sealed anymore. Face like this, and I see. Shut up, Lynn. We didn't ask you to come. Actually, we did. <laughs> I think she might be required. Yeah. An altar was built in a volcano. This seems. I thought it was like, yeah, okay. oh yeah. Do, do, we, do we get? No, we don't. We, we don't, don't get Durandel to the last level, unfortunately. But we, the plot has us get it now. We just can't use it until right. Rodin's presence. Oh, he's a berserker with a tomahawk, right? No, that's I think Darbus. No, Darbus is the patriarch from Twilight Princess. Can we do oh, five guys? sure enough, five guys. So technically only four, two apiece. <laughs> well, I know, I know which two I'm taking. You have to take those two. I don't. I don't see. Nope. Well, okay, I'm not two. taking Lynn, I'm taking Sarah as my number two. Number two. Number two. Okay. Um, oh, oh wait, hang on, hang on a second. Just take Jafar. <laughs> you like could only Jafar. Only Jafar. <laughs> All right, not rescue. It's just I a Jafar want... only level. <laughs> well, we need to take. We do a Jafar only let's play. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> ah, there we go. I need the warp. Staff. Like you can use any characters up until you get Jafar, and then you can only use Jafar. <laughs> it's like somebody's probably done that before. Probably. Uh, there, there has been an interesting... I'm not sure if it was a Let's Play or just a casual playthrough where they did, like, a girls-only yeah. playthrough where I'm like, that's interesting. Because you do get a lot of really good girls in this. It's just there's they're few and far between. I feel like it's pretty split. Well, I'm mainly talking the beginning levels where it's like, well, you've got Rebecca and Sarah. Oh, gotcha. Right, yeah. What does the Iron Room do? Uh, you, enemies can't critical whoever... Uh, that might be it? useful. I was gonna get a healing thing. Oh yeah, elixirs. The healer does need to heal. Try Pirelli's miracle elixir. That's I... what does the tricks. Uh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Sweeney Todd reference. Alright. Hector's like, Listen, Listen Merc, <laughs> you know how the wood is. <laughs> he always puts well, never we have to support him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Let's go, Merc. Let's go, America. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you go first on this one. Alright, so hang on. Before, before we start, main gimmick of this level, you see those tiles that are slightly redder than the others? Light red? Do not stand on those, because at the start of your turn, anybody standing on those spaces will take damage from the lava. Your butt will be burned. Exactly. Oh, do you want no, kind of, it's a short level. I want combat animations right. on. Alright, that sounds good. Oh, Pent. <laughs> the shame. It, Pent is really high level, isn't he? He's like 15. 
Yeah, that's that's a really high level, and he's fighting like uh, non-promoted units. Uh, that's Elwood's job. Oh, I just realized Sarah's completely on her own, and yeah, she doesn't have you. Oh, but Jafar has physics, or not Jafar. Pent has physics. Yeah. Oh, I should have given Elwood an iron lance. He can use lances now. So I don't know why. But for <laughs> he some didn't reason, even move. <laughs> it was like mist. It's like Elwood did not he, like, move. Looks kind of to the side. He still has a decent amount of EXP. What, I, for some reason, when he's on a horse, he reminds me of Arnold from Magic School Bus, like the Sprite. Oh, I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> the main boss of this guy, I, he might literally be called Berserker. Do you think by the time this video goes up, the Magic School Bus reboot will be out? Ah, uh, it's possible. Because I, for, I totally forgot about that. It's supposed to be out, I think, <laughs> early 2018. <laughs> okay, I would, yeah, he literally just like looks away by to dodge. The enemies are quite stupid in that, like, they'll just stay on those. There we go. Uh, let's rapier that guy. Or about, this is the level you get the second rapier on, so I am okay with wasting it. Even though the rapier is very good against knights. That horse has blue hair. Oh, wow. Elwood, I think, I think Elwood actually just, like, spilled a little paint on it. I think it's just because the GBA kit is a 30 or a 16 system. <laughs> That's true. Look at how glamorous Sarah is in her bishop attire. Fabulous. Aren't bishops only men? <laughs> yeah, I think we've been over this before. <laughs> oh, okay. Link's turn. So we realized today, because Artie was editing... Were, were you editing an old video in this? I was editing slash making double-checking, making sure everything was... In order. And there was apparently an episode where I talked about, like, yeah, maybe someday I'll play Dark Souls, but probably not. Yeah, so I've played most of Dark Souls at this point. <laughs> most of it? Well, uh, uh, like half of it, maybe. I don't know how. I think it's pretty long. I have made it to. Um, I think it's like Sen's Castle or something like that. Sen's, not Sans. I think it's Sen. Okay. Sen's Fortress. So the true Dark Souls people are gonna like rip me apart in the comments. Like, hey, it sounds like Pedro Palace. Get <laughs> <Okay, laughs> good. <coughs> but um, oh man, I forgot. So Sarah's it's got a, a decent amount of defense, which is weird. She has a decent amount of dodge too. Oh yes, she's quite fast. <laughs> oh, the problem is she still has like no HP, and I think I gave her an angelic robe, which is weird. Yeah, I think you did. Do, do, do. Does she probably Actually, only have a no, we only we only got one angelic robe, and I gave it to Lynn. Never mind. No, Isadora comes with one. That's the one we got. Because the uh, other one, three in the game. Yeah, one's in Lynn's story only, which we didn't play, and one was on this side quest that we skipped. Oh, you're right. Okay, you're right. She didn't get it. <laughs> no damage. Okay, it makes sense that the magic users have really high resistance, but like, Sarah was taking Might scratch damage. Points. Oh snap! You just got burned. Oh, I like the place. I get it. <laughs> also, lightning is very hot and burns. Oh, and we didn't take it in Merlinus, so you're gonna have to drop one of those elixirs. Do I drop an elixir? Or I guess you could drop the elf fire or the thunder. <laughs> Merlinus, rightfully so, did not take his canvas tent into a volcano. Uh oh. That would just looks to the one side and it misses. I forgot about the Boltane. Oh, I, I gotta kill that archer before the lava kills him and his, the experience is wasted. Hey, uh, could you have uh, could you have Pent Physic Elwood? It would be greatly appreciated. Oh, 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 Send positive vibes on Facebook. <laughs> You're in my thoughts. <laughs> Pent just left a like on Elwood's status. Uh, here's the thing. He's, uh, he's got the hand axe. I'll lure him. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. I'll put Elwood right there. Oh, he does have vulnerabilities. That's nice. I'll just put Sarah on a pillar, and she will dodge everything. Yep. She's a pillar of the community. <laughs> Not really. I feel like everybody in the game hates Sarah. 
Oh yeah, she's bad. Well, but I mean, like, she's a good, she's a good wise. unit. Oh, uh, Sarah. Despite being a good unit, you are getting some really bad level ups. She's got, don't got that love. <laughs> oh, what's it go? You were trying to hit me? Uh, I didn't even see. And how's Georgie doing? Wow, deep <laughs> monsters in cut. Yay! Oh, we got his first level up as a Night Lord. That was a pretty bad level up. <laughs> I guess resistance is good, but just what I needed. Mario makes bread. <laughs> that, that is like the most like flamboyant <laughs> dodge ever. Where it's like, <clears throat> Pent is the new Marcus, apparently. You're not killing me. I got a British. Oh, Star Fox 64 would be a great Let's Play. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's a little late to Let's Play Star Fox 64, but... Yeah, so. I mean, it's been out for a long while and well, well, I mean, so has this. Oh, snap! Also, um, Star Fox 64, still the best Star Fox game. Oh, yeah, definitely. Assault is pretty good, too, especially with the multiplayer. Assault gets a bad rap. A lot of people are like, like kind of hate on Assault. It's, it's fun. A, it's a solid game. Yes, the um, land portions are not great. I don't even mind the land portions, because they did them pretty well. I would prefer you were in an Arrowing for pretty much the whole game, but... There are, there are some levels where I like being on foot more than in a ship. Yeah, right. I, for I, real, that guy's some, not is, moving. I, I feel like it actually has a decent story for a Star Fox game. Even though, like, the, everybody they kill off gets revived at the end, basically. <laughs> Unexplained, which is kind of weird. It's also kind of weird that they were, like, killing main characters off, like, left and right in the game. So you had to kind of Not expect really left and like right. That. Yeah, kind of left and right. Who do they kill off? Besides Pigma. So they kill off Pigma, they kill off General Pepper. No, they don't. What do you think he gets killed off? No, that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, those are your units. I was saying, like, you think they're killing units off, like, left you and right. You fight and then him, but then he's out. fine. But only at the end of the game. No, at the end of the level, I think. Nope, not at the end of the level. Although, also, okay. uh, Peppy at that one point, and uh, Team All of Star Wolf. That's on the last level, though. Right, but that's, like, before the very end. Yeah, but once they kill off Peppy, you're like, okay, they're coming back. <laughs> Maybe. Also, that has um, one of the best characters in all of Nintendo history. Bertino Terror. Bertino. Skippy's, or Slippy's uncle. <laughs> Skippy. <laughs> Wait, is he his uncle? Yeah. Or so no, his dad. His dad. Oh, his his dad. uncle is Grippy. Oh, yeah, Grippy. From Star Fox uh, Defense. Guard. Star Fox Which you Guard. have, but haven't played. That's true. I've heard that's better than Star Fox Zero. <laughs> really? You know, it's basically like Five Nights at Freddy's where you have cameras. And, like, you check the cameras. <laughs> It's like if Five Nights at Freddy's wasn't a horror game. It's like not a Star Fox game, basically. They just like threw Star Fox on. I'm kinda surprised you brought Hector along. There are like no Lance users. Huh. Also, literally Pent has done all the work. Because <laughs> Pent's a little faster. I didn't plan that. That guy just loves trying to hit a little bit of his Well, I mean, what's who's he gonna try to hit Pent? Hector. Was like oh, no, that's no true. Resistance. That's true. Turn. <laughs> Do, do. I did not realize until like a recent like uh, playthrough that like the red tiles or the light red tiles were the ones that caused you to get hurt. Uh, yeah. Oh, we'll certainly dodge. Oh, I was hoping for the critical there, Elwood. I know banking on the eight percent chances with a steel sword. Yeah, not gonna happen. Oh, sweet! I don't have to stay on that tile. That's great. Bringing Sarah was surprisingly a smart idea. Oh yeah. Oh, I I haven't even done the thing that I wanted to bring Sarah for. Okay, she's on a. Table. I know, I know. But she's got to get rid of that guy, and he's not moving anywhere. So. Gotta get right out of here. Gotta get back to Hogwarts. Well. Gotta We're get just back dropping like to school. obscure references left and right, like they was going out of style. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get back to Hogwarts, where everyone knows I'm cool. Oh. Oh yeah, her lady broke. So exactly. I'd like to say I planned that, but I did not. Oh, come kill me, Myrmidon. Let me take your rapier. Hector's dodged. <laughs> you know, that Boltine is not dealing a whole lot of damage to Hector, considering he has zero resistance. <laughs> he must have gotten a lot. Okay, would you trust me enough, Artie, to get to make you do 
like if I was like, Artie, right, you're gonna do a blind let's play of a game I pick. Would no, you be, you, absolutely like, not. Oh, really? <laughs> no, <laughs> no trust here. Everybody. No, I know you. I know you would probably pick something like insane or something that like you've been trying to get me to play for years, but I don't want to. <laughs> Such as. Oh, uh, sure. let's see. Golden Sun. Golden Sun could be one of those. Um. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ride like the wind, bullseye. The Toy Story 3 DS game. I can't record that. that. Marty has. Oh, that's true. <laughs> My repair broke and got a new one. So, no big deal. Yeah, that guy's just sitting on his butt doing nothing. It's pretty awesome. Oh, wait, hang on. Did I move Sarah? Yeah, I did. You did. And I gave her an elixir. <laughs> Sorry, Pent can't quite reach the warrior. Yeah, we gotta watch out for Georg. Does he move? He does. And he is like a very high level berserker with a tomahawk. Berserker. Oh, nice going, Sarah. I was only, I forgot to check what that guy had. Oh, I'm sorry, gal. Female enemy unit. That hardly ever happens. Here in the fire caves. Okay, this is his last bolting. <laughs> Miss. He missed with all five shots. Bolting is not very accurate. I mean, if you, if one of your units gets bolting, it's actually pretty accurate. I think the enemies just oh, stink. I've given him an axe. A, an axe or a sword? An axe, besides the wolf bill. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright. Yep, Georg. He's got the tomahawk, but he's a tough guy. He's unit. like the Batman of guys with masks. <laughs> I guess Batman is oh, the mask. Oh, I could have sworn he had like a little, uh. Goatee. Little, like, not quite goatee, but Chain like. Strip. Yeah, yeah, that's the no, one. He just has a blood chip. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, dealing with that boss is the reason I brought Sarah. Because if we want, we can warp Elwood onto the square when he moves. Elwood will be fine. This is like the level that Elwood hatches up with everybody else, usually. I mean, he'll get a few. Whoa! Yeehaw! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I like that critical animation, though. This game has, like, I know we've been skipping all of them. This game does have really good animation. I'm impressed with that level. We're up. just skipping it for time space. Yeah. Time, basically. Can you imagine how long Cog of Destiny would have been if we had left battle animations on? Yeah, it would have been like two hours. Ooh, do, do. Oh, I just realized that wood's kind of short on that horse. <laughs> Hector's like, nope, denied. I mean, it would be foolish to ask for another critical from him. Or, I guess, unrealistic. But, I can dream, can't I? Alright, so I want to... Aha! Oh! Uh, what's this guy's movement like? Okay, he can move pretty far. Should I destroy the wall? Mr. Gorbachev, tear down that wall. <laughs> That's gonna take a while to destroy. <laughs> Sorry, Reagan. Oh, you've got a wall on your side, but you can probably destroy it a lot easier with Pent and Hector. So the question, do we try to take the boss on, or do we try to do... Wait, we don't have a new boss. No, we just have... Basically, we need to stand on the tile the boss is standing on. No. So no. he'll eventually move. I think we can beat the boss. Alright, he's gonna target Elwood first, because Elwood's gonna be the one who reaches him first. And unless Hector does that, okay. See, that wall's much easier to tear down. <laughs> Well, Eloy could help. Alright, okay, Eloy's gonna be fine. Ooh, yeah. Like, Reaper's lighter weight. I will do that. And much higher crit chance. <laughs> that guy's just gonna keep retreating and using his elixirs. Like the smart enemy he is. Oh, here comes Georg! 
I am one of oh, Sir Roland's warriors, Georg. Do you think it's Georg or do you think it's George and they just forgot to put the E on the end? Oh, that that's possible. Or do you think it's just like one a of the Let's Players I watch? His last name is spelled the same way and pronounced George. I always thought it was Georg since that sounded more Fire Emblemish. Yeah. I, I Noise. All right, well, since he Someone only attacks it once... So <laughs> Ooh! And Elwood's got quite a few inventory slots. All right, I am going to... Oh, wow, Elwood deals <laughs> abysmal damage. Uh, we, have, we have two Physikers, though, so... Yeah, but I'm, I gotta focus on breaking down that wall. All right, well, we got Sarah. Plus, at the rapier, he has a decent critical shot. Nice going, Ellie! Did you say Elliot? I said Ellie. Elliot. Elliot Moose. Ouch. He's on the loose. Sarah's not breaking down that wall. Nah, she's she's saving her shine. Let Kent doesn't really sunshine. need the kill. <laughs> That's true. Please. I mean, but it is. You you can compete if you want. Ella was not going to be able to kill. Him. If he gets lucky with a couple criticals, it would take like forever. That's true. So I guess he could get by with a little help from his friends. Hector will be able to withstand the least one attack. So oh, definitely. Pent, we'll have to check and see. Mm. Do you want the higher crit chance? Do you want the higher attack chance? Uh, we're gonna put him here for now. Okay. Fair enough. Keep in mind, um, if I he know. hits, Sarah probably won't restore all that HP. I know, but he's got enough that it'll be fine. Oh, and Sarah I can remember attack when now I, too. When I first played this game, getting to this level after Cog of Destiny, it's like this is so easy. Oh yeah, because Cog of Destiny is a nightmare. All right, sweet, we can corner him now. Except Elwood lost two percent critical chance. Different titles. Oh, I just realized he has a small critical chance. Wait, you only have one physic. Oh, that's true. That's sad. No, 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 sky, rim, oh, he'll sky, three, he'll three rim. Oh, let's see for Skyrim. Oh, I, I should play Skyrim sometime. Oh, that would be a good, like, don't commit to a full series because it'll drive you crazy. <laughs> but, like, uh, yeah, you know, just, like, test Take it, it for a ride. <laughs> see where it goes. Exactly. Uh, keep in mind, if Pent misses... Or Hector can rescue him, I guess. No, I'm not gonna attack. I'm just gonna put him here. He's gonna go after Elwood, who's damaged, obviously. Or Hector, who who can't fight back. That's... Uh, why would I put him there? Yeah, I saw that coming. Come on, do the horsey man. <laughs> horsey! Oh yeah, so I can't actually risk attacking with Pent. Hang on. Okay, Sarah so how much have... damage can he guaranteed do? So with Elfire, he'll deal 20. Okay, that's not enough. That's not enough. Not enough. Not enough. I'm just gonna put All right, that's fine. That'll Wait. end the level. Oh, will it? That will end the level. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna do that. Do you want to check? Uh, hang on. Okay, hang on. Yeah, have him attack, and if he misses, then Pent needs to stand on the square and end the level. Okay, cool. So I am the little. No, uh, he dodged. So you can have Pent wait there if you want. Okay. I'm trying to get him down to the point. Oh, nice! Two more attacks, and Elwood can finish him. Or Pent can. I guess. I will... Well, yeah. Your unit, your rules. <laughs> Thunder's weaker than Elfire. Oh, nice Pent! I'm not sure if I've ever seen this guy's death. Really? The seal protects you. Do you ever fight this guy? I never fight oh, that I guy. I always fight that guy. I always use the warp staff to put Because it's like on a square. guaranteed 100 experience for anybody. Even Marcus. <laughs> At this point, Marcus gets a good amount of experience. We got a tomahawk! Oh, I gotta get rid of it, though. Don't hurt it! It's, it's like a silver axe that you can throw! Alright, that's good. Right, Goodbye, physics staff. Cool. And Hector can finish. Oh, Elwood has to stand on the space. Well, good thing we didn't risk our lives on that. 
Indeed. <laughs> There's that one doofus over there. Only Elwood can pass the trial. Athos teleports in like, you've done very well. <laughs> you are Star the first to pass this way. We are in your debt. Mm -hmm. I'd be Time honored. for a reunion of sorts. Move back. <laughs> what was the point of that? My old friend, the little knight, Sir Roland. Roland, awaken and answer my call. He's like, I have two hands. I totally forgot about this guy. Hey, I wanted the eight generals. Do you think he's in a different Fire Emblem game? And that's like a cameo type thing? Because it's like weird that he's just like, Yeah, I'm this cool anime dude who's <laughs> ancient, but I look like I'm young. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. He must be in one of the other ones. This blade serves as a fence. I remember this game's story being like amazing back in the day. It's like, it's it's okay now. It's still pretty good. It, it, it's I like decent. it. The characters are good. The story itself is kind of... Well, the story's about to get quite a bit better. Lord Athos, who was that man? Oh, that was your that ancestor. Marth, I mean... Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Marth. Actually, I know, like, Super Smash Bros. paints Marth as, Marth as, like, the really serious kind of, like, aloof guy. He's apparently, like, not like that at all in his games. He's basically like Sora, who's always making the weird, like, bleh face. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and now the text magically gets super slow at this part. So this is, is the, the legendary, legendary blade. blade. I feel Durandum. it. I feel the cosmos. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the cosmos. We, we should let's play that tonight. <laughs> Tonight? Yeah. <laughs> the first one or the second? Uh, your pick. <laughs> I guess I'd be up for that. I, I will use, use this to battle every Go. day to claim my rightful place. <laughs> wow. The sword, it's glowing. Watch out! Fly Something's coming! Something's near. It, it can't, can't be. be! Even though this is what Nurgle was trying to do it's all this time. It's a dragon. How is it possible? Impossible. How did nobody notice it on its way Get here? Get back, everybody. That was a cool effect. It looks like, oh yeah. You know if this was a new Fire Emblem game, this would be like an anime cutscene. Yeah, look at that cool dragon sprite that they only use for that. Yeah. Ella Wood, are you alright? Yes, Hector. The sword acted on its own. It was as if the sword itself was guiding my arm. Oh, the sword of sacred fire was made to combat dragons. That must be why. That makes sense, Athos. <laughs> but this ice dragon, surely... Is, is something, something the, matter? the matter, Lord Athos? No, dot, dot, dot. Uh, let me be the one. Oh, wait, that's Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let I believe me the battle one. system is fully operational. Why is this black card? <laughs> I just realized, does he not have eyebrows? <laughs> Nurgle? Yeah. Uh, I think that's I think that's just like a giant scar across his forehead. Yeah, I don't think he All has All evil eyebrows. guys must have scars. Whoa, that was magic. <laughs> Nils, someone took a picture of you and you got red eyes in it. You don't waste your breath in it. Nils Bat. will do for me what <laughs> Ninian would not. Hmm. Scum! <laughs> he doesn't look that angry, he's just like, hey, this is the voice I make when I talk and to the, you. And the funny thing is, Elwood actually does have an angry sprite and we're about to see it, but they didn't use it for that point. It doesn't really <laughs> look that much different. No, I, I, it's a really noticeable change. One I'm thinking of. There's one where it's like he's literally just, just turning real, sideways, like the Scooby Doo guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why did it have to be Minion and Nils? Sorry, this is like the drama point of the game. Yeah, and we're kind of just like goofing off. Well, I mean, we haven't really been reading the text up until now, so. Well, but it's there for people to read. So. Right. Uh, I remember. I remember my first. I remember my first playthrough. I'm like, this is so slow, and I tried to see, like just making it go faster, and I was skipping the whole cutscene. So I was very confused afterwards. I'm like, wait, what happened? His funny words. Yeah. <laughs> so many great words being used. Scum, blackheart. They're going. They're going far out of their way to not swear, which I appreciate. I want to 
lost Blue alone Blue. until I believe in your rage you killed. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> appropriate. <laughs> she lost the will to live, says Aropa. <laughs> Who knows all about the will to live? Apparently. Let me flat out tell it to you, Ellerwood, because Let you're so it stupid to take you pick up You killed your girlfriend. <laughs> well, I mean, they didn't have any supports. <laughs> that is Nidian. Bleh. What a horrible twist of fate. She lost all human memory, but she still remembered you. So those are contradictory, Nurgle. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Look upon the creature you have killed. Okay, I love how everyone's like, Elwood, you're a horrible person. Like, you kill minions. Uh, the sword acted on its own, according to Elwood. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you would say that, though, if you killed your girlfriend. <laughs> oh, uh, the sword did it. <laughs> I don't think the police are going to accept that one. <laughs> Wait, are all of Elwood's friends like, you monster? <laughs> no, but Elwood's like, I was the one who killed you. Like, I, like, consciously did it. It's like, no, you did it. <laughs> Elwood's had, like, a pretty bad... Oh, game. yep. The there you go. Yeah. See, that's pretty noticeable. Yeah. He bends his head forward a little bit. <laughs> you. Well, that could be like... Why wouldn't he just, like, stab... Well, but, yeah, he's, he was smiling when his mouth was open. He's... Hector's <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't believe like, yourself, hey, Everybody. <laughs> this this basically reminds <laughs> me of, like, the Banjo-Kazooie character portraits where it's like... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That was like an Animorphs cover. Okay, I love how like it's like oh like Ninian is like kind of like still kind of alive and like they're going to her. It's like oh I mean no, so he's also getting kidnapped right now. Yeah, you think at least one person right. I try to say. Hector, you do that. <laughs> Especially uh, since we have Athos is here, he could easily kill Nurgle, <laughs> <laughs> or at least like hold him off. Or actually, never mind, never mind. I forgot he doesn't have the really good white magic yet. That is an astonishing whack of blood, considering he, like, sliced her, like, in half. Well, she was a dragon, then. I mean, but still, there should it's, be It's blood. like the dog rules, where, like, he can, like, <laughs> I don't know, transform and cure himself and stuff. I forget, have you seen this cutscene if you get uh, Ninian and Elwood to A support? Where it's actually, like, slightly different. I have definitely gotten them to A support before this. I just don't remember how, how <laughs> it is different. Nurgle's like, that's hilarious. That's she just died. <laughs> yeah. It's like basically Nurgle's like Prince Ali, like refries for a while. Yeah. <laughs> I will not permit it. You'll be flying through four. Uh, yeah, I forgot. Athos actually does attack Nurgle here. Four blades. Erish Kigal. That's okay, a Rish This is where it's like okay, these these like crazy That was not fourteen head damage. These crazy magic attacks in this are basically like the Final Fantasy summons where it's like they like look unbelievably the cool, fire But they're just kind of annoying breath. after a while. <laughs> no! I I I love all of the super powerful magic spells you get at the end. Fire is no longer. No goodbye, life. foe. Not even a legendary blade. There wasn't a blade! It was a fire! Nobody attacked him with a sword. <laughs> I am impervious. <laughs> three exclamation points, he's really high. Gah! <laughs> Miserable, aren't you, Athos? <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot. Athos and Nurgle, like, they got a history. Yeah, they were, they were roommates in college. Yeah, apparently. 500 years ago. They explained <laughs> that in Fire Emblem University. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, Arishkigal, aside from having, like, a really weird name, like, it's such a cool spell. Can you get it? I forget. I think you can by glitching, but I don't think anybody can actually use it. Yeah, I figured it'd be one of those. <laughs> What? Not even legendary. Hector, it's, it's, like, it's like Hector's like that was a pretty cool sword, and it's like, oh, we have a kidnapped child, and <laughs> Ninian is dead. yeah, Nurgle left without Nils. That's so weird. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is awkward. Nils is like, what? Oh, whoa! Hector also got a slightly different spread. Hector's he's like, this backwards. is awkward. Like, Lynn looks sad. Elwood looks sad. Hector's like, uh. Mm. He's like, oh, this <laughs> is awkward. <laughs> Check, please. <laughs> Ah! 
I pic- I'm picturing a Luke Lynn Skywalker. Looks pretty embarrassed. <laughs> Lynn looks pretty embarrassed right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. And, and <laughs> we have to end on a depressing note, I guess. We're ending on a sad note, but it's okay, because we're going to go play Katamari now. <laughs> yeah, if there's any game that can make you happy, it's Katamari. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day, and God bless. And remember, 4th of July, Freedom Reign. Amen, brother. <laughs>